It's the final sneak peek. Alright, in this video you will find every single new emoji coming to Brawl Stars and we will go over all of the new ticket event versions, how they're going to work and show you some gameplay of all of those and also all the new maps and anything else that's coming to this update. Let's do it. And if you are spending gems this update, I please ask you to use a creator code, even if it's not mine, as long as you're using Someone's creator code, all of us would really appreciate the support you provide. It really, it really does help us out a lot. So thank you to anyone who does use your creator code. Although, use code CORE. Okay, let's start out going over the new ticket events. Let's go! All right, here we go. Here's the new boss fight. Haven't played this. It starts at normal, just like normal. And it goes up into insane. That's the highest. Wait, dude, I know everyone is a bot on my team. Uh, come on, Coach Corey, man. Coach Corey, what are you doing?! You're gonna die! Okay, also you can see the new Pam! Dude, actually this looks so much better! The It looks like an actual freaking machine gun. The attack animation was cool and ready for the turret. Okay, it's like a healing lunchbox. Oh, Coach Corey, what are you doing? And we have a sprout that's so bad. Uh, I gotta carry... Alright, so basically... It's one... Versus the robot. All right. Well, we're almost below forty percent. I mean, I guess technically, if I had three teammates, I might have been able to do this in two minutes. But instead, I have dude Sprout. <laughs> oh my god, this Sprout is so worthless. Oh god. Okay, Sprout, you can do it, man. You can do it, Sprout. Maybe not. Let's skip ahead. You know, let's just see if we can win. Uh, alright, we're 5%. I'm kind of dying here, though. This is, this is not that great, but we're close. We're so close. Come on, Sprout. Wait, Sprout, you kind of just blocked me in. Thankfully, you destroyed your own wall. <laughs> okay, this is it, right? Yeah, we did it. Good job, Coach Corey. Nice. What are the rewards? Uh, also, look at that. Sweet Big Mama. New Pam animation! Alright, so I completed a quest. Complete level in boss fight. I got 100 tokens. I think that was a quest. And then I got 20 tokens for winning. And by the way, because boss fight is up right now, the next boss fight quest just auto-generates. So you should have a quest for boss fight. One for every level. And of course, once you beat the level, you get the next quest for the next level. By the way, here's the new theme! With uh, some nice background music. So let's vibe. Uh, let's move on. All right, so for Big Game and Robo Rumble, uh, they were only up in dev mode for like a short period of time, and I was actually too busy with other stuff. I wasn't able to get gameplay of it, but thankfully we have gameplay from Lex and VCR. So shout out to these guys, and I'll put links to their YouTube channels down below. Definitely check them out, and let's see these new modes. All right, let's start out Robo Rumble. Now you can see there's a two minute timer, so it just counts down from two minutes, maximum time of two minutes, and you win the round if you survive uh, until the timer's over. All right, now you'll see we're basically back in Brawl Stars like two, three years ago. I don't know how many of you recognize this map. Pachinko Park, I believe it was called. The old Robo Rumble map. And you also see we're no longer in landscape. We're back in vertical, basically. Which makes so much more sense for Robo Rumble to have it just be a straight up and down map. Especially since you're just trying to eliminate robots uh, continuously over and over. And there's also different levels. You can see in the top right, this is the hard challenge. Um, I think it increases up to f up five times. Uh, I, I don't know if it calls itself insane at the highest level. It probably does. It's something like that. And then just like... Um, I don't remember. It just like every five waves, I'm pretty sure there's a robot. Is how it should work. Although maybe not. Because it's a different... It's only a maximum of two minutes. So we'll have to see here. I'm excited to see how this goes. But this this honestly gives me so much so much nostalgia. Just seeing this map right here. And I mean just like I guess we want to talk strategy. You're probably gonna have, you know, one person in each lane. Uh, you probably want like a thrower in the middle, like dynamite, or or maybe even a barley or something, because then they can help out anyone on both sides. And Dynamite with Dyna Jump could jump over too, although it's not that useful. Oh, they're getting overwhelmed! 
30 seconds left! I think they have... Their bot, I guess, is not very helpful. This is the hard level. Oh, looks like they're gonna lose. Oh, maybe not! Maybe not! 15 seconds left! They just gotta respawn! I think they got this. This body block. Uh, okay. Alright. Thank God. Thank God. Like not live, but I'm still tense and nervous. <laughs> but that's that's Rover Room. All right, here is big game. Uh, so you start off as the boss, and again, it's a two-minute timer, and it just counts down. So if it reaches two minutes, boss is still live. The boss wins. Uh, probably gets the quest reward and uh, more tokens. Um, and it is still one versus five. But you'll notice it's on a showdown size map. I kind of do not like that. I think. It's, it's, uh, they made it a lot easier for the boss to survive, and they m made it two minutes. Any good boss fight time is always over two minutes, or big game. So, I don't know. Especially on this map, I feel it's going to be so easy to hide in the grass. And if you have a good boss as Brawler, like, good luck. Uh, there's probably other maps. This one, to me, I don't know. I'll have to try it out. I haven't played it, right? I'm just judging right here. Um, but I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, Lex is facing bots, so it's gonna go pretty well. They're clearly highly skilled, all grouping up in the same, in a row. Yeah, dude, get with jump pads, too, is like, as bosses, is gonna be so, so much survivability. Just in general with the super as well, just keep running, man. It's like old Mortis in boss, in, uh, not boss, but big game. Ay ay ay. I mean, I definitely feel like the boss has a huge advantage here. I mean, if if the boss doesn't win like nine times out of ten, I feel like something's wrong. And that's a bad boss, like Piper or something. I don't know. Do you guys feel this way? Is this just is it just me? Like, how are you looking at this new this new big game? I mean, it's not like the other modes where it scales up in difficulty or anything like that, right? You're just facing only humans. Just one versus five. I mean, here he is, Lex barely- I mean, oh, he's facing bots, right? Not a good example. Uh, and they weren't high trophy bots, which I assume are harder, but I mean, he barely took any damage. I guess one difference as well is it doesn't seem like there's poison on the boss, so the boss actually stays alive a little easier too. By the way, a couple skins are being sent to the archive. What does that mean? Well, it means they're no longer going to show up in shop rotation for about, well, they'll show up once or twice per year. That's what going to the archive means. Five skins right now are going there. First of all, Rockabilly Mortis, and you can actually see right here, if this icon is on the skin, it's moving to the archive. Touchdown Bull is going as well. Spicy Mike is going, which I'm actually pretty sad about. I definitely like this skin. Boombox Brock is going too. Don't feel like it's a bad skin, but Brock has some nice skins, so it just kind of gets pushed aside again. And then last, Caveman Frank, which I feel like is so fitting for Frank. It's sad to see it go, but I guess it's not an exciting skin. All right, let's talk about pins. These things right here, emojis, in other words, there are a ton of them. These ones right here don't even scratch the surface in the total amount. I'll show you them all, but first, let's talk about them and explain them to you in the first case. How can you get them? How can you buy them or whatnot? First of all, there's three different rarities of pins. There's common pins, rare pins, and epic pins. Now, each rarity of skin has like a certain theme for what those emotes are like. The common emotes are just generic, like sad, uh, brawlers being sad, brawlers being happy, or brawlers being angry. And then the rare ones are more like good game, GG, uh, thanks. They have some sort of uh, connotation in that way. And the epic emotes are special in some way. Maybe they have like uh, some gold uh, tinting around it, or it's possible it could even be animated as well, which would be really cool. I don't have access to any ones like that. But in order to buy these, there will be packs that appear in sh in the shop. Uh, I can't show you uh, any of those packs right now. I can show you the image for what the pack will look like, but it didn't actually, oh, it's that way. Uh, it's gonna cost 50 gems and it's gonna have three emotes in it. It will have two commons and one high rarity, either a rare or an epic. I'm not sure if it's confirmed, if it's random, which one it is, or if it, will tell you. I'm sure we'll maybe find a little bit more info later, but it is going to cost 50 gems. All right, now here are literally all of the pins. Okay, except for Barley's, but I didn't have room. 
First of all, this is the first page. This is not even half of them, or actually, it's about half. There's over 200 different pins or emotes. Uh, what? There's an insane amount. And there's honestly such amount, a good amount of like small details in so many different ones that make them really enjoyable. A lot of them are very similar, but some of them are very unique and are really cool. And I just feel like 8-bits are, I think, probably the best overall pack for one brawler. All right, look, here's the other group. If you want to go and look at all of them, pause the video. I'm not going to stay too long on either of these pages here um, because there's just so many different ones. And, look, there's only really so much you can say about them. There's a lot of cool ones, though. Uh, we'll see which ones uh, come up in the store first. All right, now for all of the new maps coming to Brawl Stars. We'll, of course, just go straight down the list here. Jump Grab, we got... Chill Space, which actually is just renamed now that I'm looking at it, uh, and it has the new theme. There's no new showdown maps, but there is some new heist maps. Traffic Jam here. Uh, there was a map contest that I talked about a while ago, so some of these are the winners of those. Crossroads is another one. They're trying to focus on fast games and heist, which both of these new maps definitely should provide. And then two new bounty maps as well. Heat Wave uh, should be a good map for tanks. A lot of walls, a lot of grass. And then Cobweb is the other one, another good map for tanks in bounty. So tanks actually has got a big indirect buff and bounty here with these two maps. Interesting. Now, no new Brawl Ball maps, but there are three new siege maps here. Created Factory. Uh, all of these siege maps are focusing on having like three separate lanes for the most part here. Fenced in, uh, another one, of course, and then Olive Branch, of course, by Olive. Oh, it doesn't say Olive Oil, it just says Olive. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, another new Siege map. And then, just so you can see all the Hot Zone maps, I mean, technically, some of these are new, some of these you recognize from back when Hot Zone was in the game formerly. Um, a lot of these are sort of old maps, maybe repurposed from Hot Zone, or like small changes, I should say, instead of repurposed. Um, some of these new maps, uh, like those two. Alright, well, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching this far, and I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Peace.